space fast ethernet fa00 now you can see that i'm in the higher mode first i'm in the inside the interface which is inside the global configuration mode which is inside the privilege mode okay now all the configuration here i can do will take effect only specific to this interface i can type exit a few times two times to go to the privilege mode or i could just type end and it will take me all the way back to the privilege mode so if you type end it will take you back to the privilege mode interface fa00 if i type end so previously i had to type exit twice to go back to this mode i can just type end and this will take me back all the way to the privilege mode okay so you learn that we have few modes first of all is user mode then we have a privilege mode okay um so that's a privilege mode mode okay you need to know these modes okay now from the privilege mode we type configure terminal okay that will take you to config like this the prompt will change and that's called global config mode or configuration mode global configuration mode okay let me start a new notepad here okay ah can't be bothered to change the font again okay here give me some space so do you remember this mode user mode can't do much you can see it but you can't configure you can see very little but you can't configure to go to the other mode to the next mode it's just called privilege mode you need to type enable and that will take you to privilege mode which is this here you can see everything you can do the debugs you can ping you can do anything you want but you can't configure from this mode so to configure you have to go to global configuration mode And then from this global configuration mode you can go to you can configure like the name what we did host name london and what you can do is go to more specific modes as well so you have to for example if you want to configure the first fast ethernet then we will be on this mode the more specific interface mode okay Now, we told you the first first mode is called the user exec mode, allows you only limited number of basic monitoring commands, and it often refer to as view only. Privilege mode, details examination router, de debugging, testing, file manipulation, remote access. Now all monitoring commands are available here. To go to the uh, privilege mode, uh, we have to type enable. And after we are in the privilege mode, we can do here, we can see that we can do some pings, show running configuration mode, but we can't configure. So if you want to configure, first we have to go, to go to global configuration mode. And then from the global configuration mode, we can go to more specific interface commands. Now, these are the startup, startup configuration commands that we're going through. They will, they will work both for the routers and switches. Okay, so. Just for you not to forget, enable takes you away from the user mode to the privilege mode, disable back from privilege mode to user exec mode. Okay. Navigating between iOS modes. Yeah, we did that. Now iOS command structure. First of all, you have the prompt. This is called a prompt. Here is a name. You really look, want to look at this sign here. That's a prompt really telling you what mode you're in. Then we have the command, space, and then the keyword or argument. That's the structure of command, how we're gonna run it. If you wanna know, because the Cisco devices, they have thousands of commands and I don't think anybody knows all of them. If you want to like rem remind yourself of, si of some commands, you can go to uh, cisco.com and find out the command out there. Cisco has a very, very good, um, like a web, 
uh, navigation where you can go and find yourself the commands and what they do and so on so it has a uh, command references so www.cisco.com click on support then you go to network software choose iOS choose the operating system uh, version and then choose reference guide and conf uh, command references click on particular technology that encompasses the command you reference okay now we have a help menu it's great on the Cisco devices that we have a help menu which is really really helpful hey help is helpful okay first of all is the question mark you saw me doing the first in user mode I just pressed the question mark gave me the commands available same I can do it on the on the privilege mode I just hit the question mark boom up there didn't hit that in there or anything it right away it's giving me all the commands are available on this mod now um, okay on the real devices there's a lot more there's like five or six pages when you press question mark okay now just to make some clear space I can put um, the first few letters of the command that don't remember what was it what was the command but I remember it started with C and I press a question mark right now I didn't put the space I just put the question mark straight away after C now it's telling me any all the commands they start with the character C which in this case we have clear clock configure connect and copy okay so now if I put the L and the question mark it's gonna get rid of these it's gonna have only the commands that start with those two characters which is in this case is clear and clock but not configure not connect and not copy so if I put CL and then question mark ah, it's left me only with a clear and clock great it's it's removing all the commands they don't start with CL so if I put CLO and then I'm not putting in space just question mark straight away now it's got rid of clear it just have clock now I left only one command now I can leave it to this I can put a space and then continue with the rest of the commands I can hit tab tab and hit the clock uh, it will fill it for you so tab uh, let's go if I can see tab here key Word, keyboard, 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 images, tab key is here, this one, where I'm pointing there. So it's just, it's close to Q, on the left of the Q, it's above cap locks, that's the tab key. So if you hit the tab key, it's going to fill the rest of the command. Or you can just leave a CLO, the router knows that you mean clock, because there's no any other commands available. Now. If I put the question mark but without the space, again it's going to tell me the commands that start with those letters. If I want to know the commands that start after the word clock, then I have to put a space and then the question mark. Now it's telling me the commands that start after clock, which is set on this case. I can type set, press question mark, it's only one set. I have to press a space and then question mark. Now it tells me the commands that start with with th after those two clock set then what do I need to do it tells me current time because that's what we're doing we are putting in the clock we are setting the clock now plus is telling me the way that I need to put the time so clock set hour hour colon minutes minutes colon second seconds at the moment it's 8 so p.m. 20 colon um, 45 colon zero zero okay space question mark then now he's telling me day of the month or month of the year now we're here in UK we put the day of the month first so today day is 16 put space question mark that's a month of the year month of the year is June okay space I did space and then question mark now the year I want to know the year so okay 2014 space question mark ah, now I see CR CR is character return which means the command is valid and if you press enter you have to press enter for this command to take effect which is very good because as soon as we see the CR which means that we are good there might be cases where you see more commands plus the CR which 